Sananda, I have requested this be posted for all to read, for it is most, most important to read at this ending time. Phoenix Journal 7. Forward. Wreck number 1, Sananda. And after the seven angels have poured forth their teachings and few have heard nor seen, then shall I come for mine creation shall be brought into peace. I shall be the word of God made manifest. And my name is called Sananda. And I shall come forth as on the pure white clouds and those called faithful and true shall bear up mine banner for they are the loyal hosts of the heavens themselves. And the trumpets shall sound and mine ones who come with me will go forth and gather in my flocks, my bird tribes who have tended mine places of creation and ye shall witness and scribe that that day shall never be wiped from the memory of man. Oh yes, man of earth, heed well the gracious words of wisdom from these teachers of the seven rays of life for they have come to see this journey through. They shall be known to the faithful as wonderful, they shall be known to thine enemies as death. They come forth in this volume to make known their energies unto this scribe and unto you ones who will receive. Each has a realm of truth that you might have instructions and light of function for you will need rebuild and become in wholeness once again. For each thing that you have brought to pass upon this wondrous orb you shall be given reminding for the vessels shall be emptied and the rewards appropriate unto each and every one, none shall escape, not through murder, suicide, hiding nor running away all shall be mitted forth his justice before the heavenly councils. Has it not, and is it yet, coming to fulfillment? Are not the malignant lesions come forth upon the ones who continue to bear the mark of the creature who has finally brought this wondrous planet to her knees, those who have won their control through greed and lust and selfishness? You have builded your very foundations upon the idle statues of selfish fleshly indulgence, power, greed and material possessions. And the oceans become as the dead waters in which the magnificent life forms can no longer survive for the great changes shall come forth and the waters will be diluted with your pollution and the seas will boil as the changes come and the seas are come again into land masses and then the new seas can renew and heal. Thy rivers, lakes and streams shall run as of blood for through your greed and lust you have contaminated all that has been given into your trust and he who partakes of the waters or is caught up within the mighty whirlpools shall be stricken and life blood shall be poured forth upon the waters thy growing waters shall have no beds upon which to flow and the eye will behold the ravaged fields which will bear naught but it shall ring throughout the heavens that the rewards are just and true for as ye have sowed upon this wondrous place given into your care, so shall your harvest be. Then there shall be fire which will rain as from the heavens for man shall loose upon man the holocaust for evil has no limits to its desired destruction. And then the earth shall also pour forth the corruption from within and it, too, shall be spewed forth upon the lands and seas. But from the labor of the mother shall come new land masses and renewal and before the changes are complete, all will be as not recognized. And the kingdom of the creature shall be plunged into darkness and those who have followed his ways shall be in torment and they shall curse God for their pain and festering sores and dying bodies. But they have come by these things through their homage unto the creature to whom they gave their very lives as they ridiculed the laws and claimed their rights as individuals to if IT feels good, go for IT. How many will remember any pleasure from such degraded behavior in those brief moments of so-called pleasure? Will the price be worth it? Ah, and the great rivers shall begin to dry. The great river called Euphrates shall be dried up so that the kings from the east will march their armies westward without hindrance and then there shall be a further gathering of all the rulers of the world to gather for battle against God on that great coming judgment day. But I shall have the infinite hosts of heaven and I shall come as unexpectedly as a thief. Blessed are all who are awaiting me, who keep their robes and luggage packed in readiness. That does not mean thy ascending bags, it means you better keep your intent and soul or as clean and pure that, you don't have to await the C1 Enas, for there will not be time for cleaning on that day of days. The blink of an eye is all ye will have.
do not have cause to walk naked and ashamed before any. For that is how it shall be, stripped of all for naught shall be hidden. All these great gathered armies shall be gathered near a place which is known as the mountain of Megiddo, Armageddon to those of you who are unstudied. And then the last vessel shall be poured forth and a mighty noise shall come forth saying, It is finished. The earth will shudder and break and upheavals such as man has never dreamed shall come to pass. The mountains will be flattened and great chasms will be opened, the waters will pour forth and ice shall rain from the heavens which can cover the entire of a human being and weighing as thy grain filled pouches. Further, just as I shall come forth in my selfness, so shall come forth that one ye have claimed to be non-existent. For the angel Lucifer and his fallen bands shall come forth as from the pits and man will be astounded and terrified for they knew not that beast which they have served so truly. And you march ever closer and closer unto the fray. Where will you be stationed? Will you still be waiting until tomorrow when ye have more time to read of truth and prepare? Will you be waiting for another to do your preparation in your stead? Will you simply still be sitting and waiting the knowledge to filter as a soft rain about your ears and eyes and somehow just drift on up to the clouds, to be with me? Beloved ones, I shall be most occupied on that day with my brother from the pits, will you wait until there is no place else to go but into the pits when he is again cast into the pits with his bands of renegades? Will you be prepared to bear and survive the incursions of the interim bombardment in your physicalness? Will you have your earthen shelters prepared and your larders and water casks filled against that day? You sit in groups and praise my name which most do not know of my current label even though that same Bible has told you that I would bear a new name across my countenance. You claim to eagerly await my return that you might float up to the sky and meet me in the sea one oods, will you still be waiting after I have come and gone? Will you have missed me, again? Even my native brothers of the ancients have been corrupted and few recognize the great white spirit who promised to return, how many are trying to see my arrival through the dollar bill of paper or eyeglass lenses of thick and gold? So be it. For he who refuses to listen will only hear the final trumpet and it will be finished. To my scribes who pen these pronouncements and labor in my fields in weary discipline, I shall bring you home. You and those ones who petition and share that which they have, even the most tiny input is blessed without measure and thy cups shall run over in abundance on that day. Not even the most minute contribution shall be in oversight for you are most beloved and blessed unto me and my hosts. I am captain of this cause, the design laid forth and now the word goes forth as the word of God and you are my faithful and true. And on that day thy persecutions shall be returned unto thy persecutors and woe unto those who have wounded and martyred mine lands. If ye are not with me then you are against me and shall be sorted forth in like manner, each to his own wisdom or foolishness. Things are so obvious and preponderant among you every day that you must see and know. If you do not see it is because you blacken your eyes and stopper your ears and are refusing to attend that which is your destruction. You claim to love of thy families, your children, do you? Most of you keep them in hostage in the deadly places for cause of your own convenience and greed. It is time to ponder these truths most carefully and bring into honor these ones who dare to bring unto you this knowledge. You have gone beyond the segment of gentle nudging to awaken you, the alarm clock is running down its winding, you, and those ones who tender unto you must realize that the time of beauteous and wondrous speculation and light spreading in group chanting is over, 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 over. Do mine own ones hear of me? Do mine own sent speakers and scribes hear me? The trimester of playing get acquainted games is past. The time of charging for, and dawdling it. It is full swing preparation and blunt choices time. The gentle filmy curtain of soft and comfortable self-comfort cosmic Christ consciousness is over. I come forth in newness of harness and the choices are here, now. Those teachers who claim to service in my name will not gain by simply changing of my name like a suit of clothes.
There is no mystical confusion about who I am. And further, stop of your making gods of your space brethren who come to tell you the way and you have made cults unto them. You diminish their truth and you seal your fate in the bargain. So be it, for ones continue to tell the seekers that which the seeker wishes to hear and it will cost those ignorant ones most dearly. I have requested that this credential be put to binding that truth can come forth and introduction be given forth, again, to these teachers, Kohans, of the rays of life for they are your most close guides and instructors. You will place them with the archangels for level of stature for they are the masters having ascended. They sit at the higher council with Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Zadkiel, Jophiel, Moroni, Muru, Kathumi, Raphael, Quetzalcoatl and others of the elder races of which I shall not name them all for in most instances they will not be your closest guides for their purpose and services vary. Do not become stagnant while toying with the energy possibilities, you will know who is your guide, or sends guides, it is not for you to spend a valuable time in supposition. The energies are coming ever closer and closer into your proximity and soon you shall not miss of their presence. Come into your decisions for the glass lies upon its side and you are in your interim hours. So be it and upon these words go mine seal of truth. It is time for you to make an all-out thrust to get these messages of truth unto your brothers for I am come again to bring my people home. In love and blessings of infinite measure I place my hand upon your heads, you lambs of my own, for I honor you most greatly for you serve long and well. Selah. I am the one you called Jesus Emmanuel, my creator calls me Sananda. I am the one whom you await. I am that I am, I am Sananda. This portion shall be placed first in the book of the Rainbow Masters for each represents a fragment of the whole and bears witness to the truth in Gidship for you ones upon the planet Earth. They are magnificent Kohans who will respond at a moment's call and you must come in to comfort one with another that our journey can be made in perfection, each with his own contribution. So be it and upon this beginning I place my benediction. HTTP colon slash slash www dot forwinds one zero dot com slash journals slash PDF slash J zero zero seven dot PDF link in the description.